are Liz and Elizabeth from Simple Simon and Company and welcome to part two of our summer quilt along. Yep, and this is our traditional series that we're doing right now. And so we have got another traditional block to share with you. This is a nautical block and it is the letter W. W, whiskey. And if you use it by yourself, it means I need a medical assistance. So be careful walking around with this quilt. You might get medical assistance if you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. not. But it's also known as a traditional courthouse steps quilt block. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. Now the way that this block is built is like how a courthouse step block is built where you start in the middle and you work your way out. So we're going to start in the middle with our red block and I've got all of these already cut. So we're going to start with our red in the center and it's cut two and a half inch by two and a half inch square. All right, so again, we're just using our Baby Lock Rachel sewing machine. We're using our presser foot J, the J presser foot, and we're on stitch 15, and that gives us a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. I'm fast, I'm already on the second one. Perfect. So with the courthouse steps block, it's a traditional block from the 1800s, and what that is is it, it um, represented the courthouses where people used to gather and everyone would gather around the center of the courthouse to hear news or for weddings or marriages and things like that and so you make the courthouse step block the way that people used to gather around the courthouse in the old days and that's how we're making this block so we started here in the middle and we've got our two side pieces and Elizabeth just handed them back to me because we're gonna press them really quickly now I love to press towards the dark side so I'm just gonna press my white fabric in towards the center and then I'm going to turn it over on the front and just make sure it's nice and pressed. Pressing is key to building this courthouse step block or our W whiskey nautical block. Either way pressing is essential to this block. Well and if you just remember you're kind of building this quilt block from the inside out it's super simple. So again she's putting right sides together Always when we're quilting these blocks, we're always going to be putting our right sides together. She's got our right sides together and she's just adding the top on to that center piece. These pieces right here are cut two and a half inches by six and a half inches long. So we did All one right. side, we'll do the second side quickly. Perfect. And right sides together and she's just lining up her fabric with the side of the presser foot and just pushing it straight through. All right and it's going to come back to me and I will press it again and again I'm going to be pressing towards the dark side. Uh-oh I've got a little bit. So right here I probably should have pushed that in if you want to oh. do that a little better than I did on yours. Sometimes that happens. I kind of felt it. I tried to poke it back under, but I missed. I missed that seam. Now you ruined our whole block. Sorry, you do it better. Although Not I, really. We, you can press anything out. We always say that quilting is perfectly imperfect. I think every quilt I've made, I notice a hundred mistakes, but the person that is getting this quilt will never notice that my seam is wrong on the back. The quilt police might. They don't exist. And we no, don't. The, the quilt police aren't out today doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I pressed it on the back side and then I pressed it again on the front side. Now we're going to add on two side pieces. These side pieces are the exact same measurement as your white pieces that we just put on. They're two and a half by six and a half inches. And so we did middle, sides, and we did the top and the bottom, and now we're going to add the side and the side. So really, we're just essentially working from the inside out. All right, so we're just gonna add on now the left side. All the way down. Oh, I felt that seam going under there again. I'm just gonna push it going the right way this time. Sweet. And you can feel those seams slip and move sometimes and then you can just catch them really quick and make sure that they're going the right way as you push them through your machine. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. And I'm definitely going to be pressing the white towards the blue right here. And I'm just going to be trying to make sure that what I'm pressing underneath to is all still going the right way. We've got two more to go. We're almost done. Flip it out here. Okay, 
Now she's just gonna add on the top and the bottom. Now these ones are cut at two and a half inches by 10 and a, yeah, 10 and a half inches. I cut them a little bit larger. So our blocks are gonna end up being 10 inches square, but I wanted to give us a little bit of room to play with so we can cut them down and really square them up nicely to 10 inches by 10 inches. Every block that we do in this series will be 10 inches by 10 inches, so you can mix them and match them and use them in the same quilt top. There's that one all the way down. I love the idea of a courthouse quilt block. I love the idea of the courthouse being in the middle and these courthouse steps leading out from it. I love the idea of it. I love that that was the gathering place for everyone and I love that that's how you build the block as you start in the middle and then you work your way out. It makes it really easy to remember. And if you've ever made a log cabin, this is kind of like the sister or the cousin block right. to the log cabin, you're building it exactly the same way. Sweet. We are done. All right, I'm going to press this up. Because this is in our traditional quilt, we did it the traditional colors. So again, this will make the W in the nautical flag series. And like I said W, and it means that it needs medical assistance. So it is exactly the way a nautical flag would be. It just also happens to be a traditional quilt block besides. I kind of love this traditional quilt because it's perfect for like all those summer occasions, like 4th of July after getting out of the pool and you need like a quilt to cuddle up in or watching fireworks. Just a fun, really summer quilt. And it won't take you that long. Look, we made a block in how many minutes? So you can sew for 10, 15 minutes a day and have a quilt at the end of the month. All right, so this guy is done. And then we brought another example just to show you. You're probably used to seeing courthouse blocks done in more patterned fabric. But today, with our nautical quilt block, we've got it looking just like this. Okay, part one, if you missed that, we'll link that in the video below. But we've got two, and we'll see you next time with quilt block number three. All right, see ya.